Okay, you ready for a gift guide, a hefty gift guide? Because that's what this is going to be. And this year's gift guide is mainly focusing on smaller brands. I am going to be featuring some bigger brands towards the end of this video. So if you want some more mainstream brands to shop with, then I will be recommending some stuff. Some of this stuff I was sent to feature in this video. I feel like in gift guides, that people don't mention that a lot of the stuff they show, they were obviously sent. And I don't know if they need to do that. But yeah, some of this stuff I bought with my own money. Some of it I was sent to feature very, very kindly in this video. And I will be doing some giveaways for some of this stuff as well. So check out my Instagram and make sure you're following me on there to be eligible to enter. And maybe win. And you don't even have to keep it for yourself. You could give it as a Christmas present, whatever you win. Like, I won't tell anyone. I won't tell them if you won't. I will link all of these brands that I mentioned down below. Follow, even if you don't end up buying anything from them, maybe like give them a follow. If you do end up buying something, leave them a review. Let's try and support smaller businesses because I feel like as a consumer, we have so much choice these days. So much choice. And most of this stuff is based in the UK. Like most of these brands are based in the UK. So this video might be a little bit UK centric, but a lot of these brands do ship overseas. I feel like we should do our bit to support smaller businesses. Even if you just shop with one smaller business this Christmas, I think that you'll be doing some good. As I bought some of this stuff myself, maybe if you're one of my friends, maybe don't watch this video, don't proceed. Um, or if you do, then you might see something that you might be receiving because like I say, I bought some of the stuff myself. I'll link my sustainable gift guide from last year. It's got some tips on being sustainable at Christmas time. I really hope this video helps. If you watch it and you see something you like, maybe send this video to someone who's struggling to find you a gift. Yes, let's get straight on into it. I'm in my Christmas jumper, by the way. I'm feeling nice and Christmassy. Let's talk about some ethical, as ethical as I've mentioned this before but like all consumption does have an impact on the planet but I feel like we can shop a little bit more ethically where we can we you know where we do what we can where we can and yeah I hope you enjoy this video without further ado let's get cracking so the first site I wanted to mention there are quite a few kind of sites that are really really good this time of year because they have um, lots of different ethical and um, conscious lifestyle bits and one of those is Everwonder um, this is a relatively new site but they have some really, really lovely things on there and the photography, I know this has nothing to do with anything, but the photography on that site is amazing. Um, the things that I would recommend from this site, they've got a zero waste starter kit, which is really, really cool. I think that retails around the 50 pound mark, but it comes with a reusable coffee cup, a bottle, a bag, those metal steel tins. It's just a really nice cohesive kit. They sell these things individually as well. And some of the things that I would recommend from them is their coffee cup. This is beautiful. I mean, you you can get these loads of different places now and I think they make really lovely gifts but this one specifically is made out of bamboo so it's by the brand Wake Cup like wake up but wake cup even if you took it out of the box because the box isn't that nice but even if you took it out of the box and, and did it in a little bundle with um maybe some like tea pigs tea uh or like a biodegradable tea bag brand um and some vegan chocolate or something i feel like that would make a really really lovely gift and the other thing i wanted to mention is their eco-friendly shaving kit this is really really cool this is actually on my christmas list this year this is mine, like this is my Christmas present, but I said to my mum, can I just use it to show in this video? And she said, that's fine. I mean, Santa, you know, that's fine. Um, this retails for £30, and I've always wanted to switch over my razor from plastic to, well, I'll show you what this one's like, but it's metal and bamboo, I think, the handle's made of. Um, and this is by the brand Naked Necessities. Like, this comes really nicely packaged. It comes with a shaving soap, uh, some extra blades, and then this is what the razor looks like if you've got someone in your life who's trying to cut down on waste then this might be a really lovely gift for them i'm really excited to start using this i can't actually use it until christmas day because it's my christmas present everwonder have also started stocking eco stardust which are an eco glitter brand and i'm going to feature them in my stocking filler guide because i'm also doing a stocking filler video but um i think that'd be a really good kind of gift for a younger sort of ethical consumer like if you've got only four year olds that are trying to reduce their plastic consumption but really like glitter it's just an idea. Next up, I wanted to mention Glow Organic. And they do some really good gift sets on there and they do a bespoke gifting service. So say you've got someone who is buying for somebody but doesn't really know that much about makeup themselves, you can get advised by them. They're a wholesaler kind of thing. They're, they've got a really nice website. I buy from them all the time and I got this free bag with all my orders but I just thought I would hold it up to show you what their logo looks like. But they actually do makeup lessons so I think they retail for about £80. I think it'd be such a lovely gift to buy someone who wants to get into green makeup but maybe isn't so confident 
confident or doesn't know so much about makeup in general or just green makeup say they're just converting to cleaner greener makeup just read some of the reviews on their site like people rave about them they seem so well received basically a lady will you I think she travels to you she teaches you she takes you through some different bits and I think she, she recommends products to you definitely check out Glow Organic as well because they've got loads of great brands on there anyway the next small business I wanted to mention is the Botanical Candle Company bit of a mouthful um, they are um, I actually bought all of this stuff myself but they are a brand I was recommended on Instagram because I asked you guys for some smaller brands and this brand got recommended quite a few times and they make their own candles so they're soy wax they're hand poured they're you know naturally fragrance you know there's no nasties in there they've got cotton wicks and they've got so many nice extra bits as well starting with the candles so I bought every single scent of their candle so that I could test them and recommend them these retail for £3.50 each and I think these would make lovely stocking fillers actually so I should probably feature them in that video I didn't realize these would come in like little tea light plastic but the rest of their candles do come in tin or glass so they are plastic free this is a really nice way to test out the brand if you don't want to invest in a whole candle these are only £3.50 each and I've got every single scent and I would recommend all of them apart from the eucalyptus scent I don't like that one but I like the Christmas Eve scent Darjeeling and Tea Rose Tinder Box which is kind of like tobacco and like musky vanilla the same brand also do matches so I wanted to recommend these because I think they are so pretty one of them is mine this one is for my friend but they do these embossed boxes and they're, they're quite big matches so they're long deluxe matches a packet of matches and a candle would make such a lovely gift so these ones are the Starlight Luxury Matches and then these are, they've got this Paris poem on them and when you open it up the actual match is white like the bit you strike is white and then this is even cooler I got this for my mum but they do these matches in glass how cool are these they've got a little cork stopper and you strike the match on the bottom of the glass bottle how funky is that and they come with different pieces of card tied to them another candle company I wanted to mention vegan bunny I've got their mulled wine you know what this is why you shop small right so I picked this one up and I can't remember have I said this in a video before yeah I have I have, I said, I said it in my birthday gift guide. But yeah, I ordered this one, which is the peppermint tea candle, but it kind of leaked, like the oil, the essential oils leaked over the label. So to say sorry, she sent me a whole new candle and she sent me a label to replace this one, which I haven't done yet, but how sweet is that? This is a really nice company. I think they're based in Oxford and oh, she's just the sweetest. The lady who runs the company is so, so nice and they burn really well. I think they're, they've got some interesting scents and I would recommend. Eden perfumes, you just can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with an Eden perfume. And if you don't know what they are, you can't have been on my channel for very long because I talk about them all the ready time. Eden are a Brighton based brand and they dupe designer fragrances. So they make them cruelty free and vegan, but they also make them paraben free and more natural. So they don't last quite as long on the skin I will say that they don't last quite as long on the skin but if you are sensitive to certain perfumes or um, certain ingredients or if you're just vegan and you want to be cruelty free then I would highly recommend this brand they do men's scents they do women's scents unisex scents I mean a scent is a scent at the end of the day do what you want to do but also a great stocking filler and a lovely secret Santa as well this is how they come packaged by the way in a little box so it's quite a nice presentation box and then it says a bit about the brand on the side and yeah highly recommend also interestingly a lot of people in my life who aren't cruelty free or vegan aware at all have been raving about this brand like I hear people talking about them quite a lot now I feel like that's a good sign when someone who's not even vegan is mentioning them I feel like that's a good sign another Brighton based company this is the brand MOA which stands for magic organic apothecary I adore this packaging it's plastic free actually no the cap is plastic but it's made it's mostly plastic free and they do some really lovely bath products most of their stuff is vegan this comes packaged in glass and I feel like a bath potion no, bath potion it's basically a bath oil you wouldn't necessarily splash out on yourself but I think it would make such a lovely gift as a true like luxury treat this one smells really good and it's in this really funky green packaging and um, they also do kind of lip balms they've got face oils as well I think a face oil would make a lovely luxurious gift this is their Aphrodite oil I love this packaging isn't it so pretty um, I think it would look so nice even in like a little bundle maybe this with a bar of vegetable soap and then the other Brighton based company I wanted to mention is Corinne Taylor these are handmade in Brighton her products this is a candle so this is ylang ylang and bergamot essential oils and it comes in this little glass jar I think I might give this away actually because I've got quite a few I bought quite a few candles myself so yeah this will be going in the giveaway and the other thing she makes are room scents so this is her love natural room and linen mist homey smelly stuff is just always such a lovely gift 
So yeah, I'll put that in the giveaway as well. Reusable makeup pads make such a lovely gift because it's kind of encouraging people to be more sustainable. These are actually by my mum's, made by my mum's friend's daughter, I think. And they're kind of Christmassy themed colours. And I think she's going to do some Christmassy sets. The brand is called Ella Bella Makery. And they come with this little like cotton bag as well. So you can reuse these. So use them to take your makeup off and then put them in the bag and wash them. You can just get these on Amazon, but why not support a smaller brand? I think they also, that the Christmassy sets might come with like jingle bells or like a little candy cane. So I think that would look like really nice to present to someone. Some jewellery brands I wanted to mention, Mirabelle Jewellery. I've got one of their necklaces on now, but this has, actually hasn't got the ball ball on. It actually comes with this little ball ball on top and they've got loads of handmade and fair trade jewellery and it comes really nicely in a little velvet pouch. Sasset do really nice jewellery as well that's ethically made and it comes so nicely presented in a really nice box which is inside a bag which is inside a box but it's all kind of like organic cotton and cardboard so it's not filled, filled with plastic. Also the Serpents Club. The Serpents Club have got some amazing handmade jewellery. A little bit more expensive not gonna lie but they're oh, beautiful if you like a little bit more edgy jewelry because a lot of the stuff i like is quite tra traditional i already knew about them but i had some people recommend them as well so yeah i kind of forgotten about them but i i, I really want to invest in one of their pieces because they've got beautiful bits this video is not about me though it's about giving gifts do you ever get that when you're like looking for gifts you end up thinking mm, could do could do but it's not about me it's a time of giving also, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Aibis, Aibis, if you like more kind of like ceramic jewellery, um, they've got some really, really pretty things. I hope these brands don't mind me taking screenshots and putting them in this video. A book I wanted to mention, I actually found out about this organisation or brand through a Lush podcast. So when I was doing my dissertation, I was listening to the Lush podcast all of the time because I was using them as sources. Lush doesn't have that much, they look like they have a lot on their website, but they actually don't have all that much information. So um, I did my dissertation on Lush, by the way, the Lush Cosmetics brand. Uh, and I suppose you could get something, that could be something I feature in this video, Lush Cosmetics, but yeah, they're a bit of a bigger brand. So uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, listening to the Lush player, I found out about this um, lady called, I think her name is Sarah, and she has a an organisation or a group called the Craftivist Collective, and they are all about gentle activism. So I've always kind of considered, when I was listening to this, I was like, this is me, this is me. I've never been the kind of activist that, and there's nothing wrong with this like I've never been one to shout it from the rooftops in terms of like veganism eco-friendliness I'm not I mean I'm not an angel don't get me wrong but like I'm quite passionate about those areas but you if you met me you wouldn't necessarily know it straight away like you might have to talk to me for a bit and then I'd be like oh actually I'm vegan blah 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 blah. you know what I mean but yes her whole ethos is being a gentle protester so she will have these meetings with big I'm, I'm getting to a point by the way but she'll have these meetings with big big brands like BP or like quite environmentally damaging organizations and her thing is crafting and bringing them something she's made as a kind of gesture oh it's really hard to explain she explained it so much better than I did I'll link the the podcast down below if you're interested but she gives them something that she's made herself and she's saying like she says in the, the, the podcast, she's not amazing at crafting, but like once she offers them something and like they get this like handmade handkerchief or something, they're more likely to listen to what she's saying in terms of, okay, we propose this. And like she works with these big companies to try and get them to be more eco-friendly. And it's a kind of, it's a collaboration of being arty and being an activist. And I just think it's such a good idea i definitely recommend that podcast but she's actually also got a book which is only about 12 pounds and i think it would make such a lovely gift it's on my christmas list to anyone who is maybe interested in veganism or cruelty free lifestyle or activism in general it's got such good reviews on amazon so i think it's got fully five stars reviews so they have got some other thick products on their website as well like little crafty kits but i think it's such a good concept in this world where everybody's like shouting and ranting on twitter and you know clickbait and all this jazz it's so refreshing to hear such a lovely person trying to make change but in a more in a gentle way and like it can be quite loud and it can be quite effective as well so yeah i think that book would make a really really lovely gift also lily allen's new book i haven't read it really really want to but yeah i hear amazing things about that as well 
A fashion brand I wanted to mention is Sisterhood. So Sisterhood are based in Manchester. They make all their pieces by hand and they've got some lovely bits in their, uh, on their website and also on ASOS Marketplace. And yeah, I picked this up before Black Friday actually, but it was on a special deal even though it wasn't Black Friday. And it's a really pretty dress. I have another dress from them. The quality is amazing and I think it would make such a, I think their stuff would make such a nice gift. If you know someone's style, you'd have to know their style a bit before you gave it to them. But yes, highly recommend this brand. I'll also link Marta Kanga's account down below because she's she's got a blog and a YouTube channel and an Instagram and she's got she always links to some really great ethical fashion brands. So if you're into ethical fashion then I would definitely recommend checking her out. But she's got more recommendations than I have because I I more so shop secondhand than I do shop with ethical brands in terms of fashion because I find it's a lot cheaper. But if you want to buy someone something first hand then yeah. I'd recommend this brand and I'd recommend her blog for inspiration. And then lastly, I wanted to mention some more mainstream brands. So first of which is Sukin, kind of like a medium sized brand. This is their Love Your Skin set. So they do, they're doing these gift sets and um, I love Sukin. They've got natural ingredients, they're vegan, no sulfates, no parabens. Their oils are also really nice, their face oils. And then another medium sized brand I wanted to mention is Tropic. Tropic have got some really cool, they've got a whole festive gift guide. So if I can link that down below, I will. But yeah, they've got some really, really lovely stuff on their oh the ribbon's upside down did I do that I can't remember but yeah this is their mini whipped body velvet collection I gave my mum a whipped body velvet from them last year and she loved it like she's got really dry skin and she uses it uh actually I think she's just finished it up she finished the whole tub up like this is the mini one I wonder if I can open this up and show you these are mini ones but she had a big tub of it and she loved it she used the whole thing up which, which I feel like says a lot but yeah you get three of these mini whipped velvets in this package everything I've tried from Tropic has been such good quality like I've never tried a dud product from Tropic you can't go wrong like you really can't go wrong so I mean I recommend their pillow mist is really good as well their sleepy pillow mist close your eyes pick something from the website and it will be really good quality I bet you they also have a men's kind of man-made I think that's what it's called yeah man-made collection this is their deluxe man-made collection and this is a recycled denim bag which is really cool I think it's recycled denim or like reclaimed denim denim I think this would make such a great gift for the guy in your life or anyone who likes this kind of stuff like shaves or anyone it doesn't have to be a man this comes with a bamboo cloth body wash a energy boost daily moisturizer and some shaving cream i actually think tropic are one of my favorite brands we're nearly there people don't worry hold on i hope you're still watching i don't know if you are you're probably tuned out by now but i wanted to mention music magpie because if you're gonna buy um electronics for someone i'd recommend picking them up secondhand because you don't actually think about it but electronics these days have such such a short lifespan it's not that environmentally friendly and i know that some people want to get electronics for christmas so if you're looking for more of an environmentally friendly gift to give someone that is electronic based then i'd recommend music magpie they do some really really good deals on there and i used to use music magpie for cds all the time they do secondhand cds really really good quality really fast service just really good service in general and i think that's pretty much it the only other things i can think of are services or subscription boxes so in terms of like services maybe go to like your local like hair salon that isn't like a big brand get your mum a gift card or something or something that's going to encourage whoever you're shopping for to shop with local businesses services and experiences are really really eco-friendly ways of gift giving because there's no like physical like what's the word physical waste do you know what i mean i can't remember the name of it so i'll put it on screen but it's a card company that sends digital cards so like e-cards and all that jazz so i'll put that name on the screen and obviously list that down below and like i said subscription services like the pit box or um petit Vor. if you bought someone like a couple of months subscription to that i feel like that's the gift that keeps on giving because it means you don't get anything on christmas day but then you get things later on in the year when you get that sort of dry period january february when nothing's happening and the weather's rubbish and it's just like mm. could do with some new makeup right Right now. But also there are like vegan tuck box, um, the wellness project or goodness project that are kind of vegan edible edible gifts. So yeah, those are my recommendations for gift giving this Christmas. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I've been talking for ages. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because I've really worn myself out talking so much. But yeah, really hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. If you're wondering what's on my lips, I'm wearing a liquid lipstick. This one is by Superdrug. And oh, I forgot to mention about Superdrug. They do some really good gift sets. Um, I was looking through their Christmas gift guide. I haven't got any myself, but Makeup Revolution or Revolution have got some good vegan gift sets 
I think the Soph Does Nails palette would be a really good one to give if you've got a beauty lover in your life. Check out the Tan Beauty website for what's vegan and what's not vegan. But also Superdrug do, it's my shopping list so I'll just fold that, um, but Superdrug do like perfumes that are own brand and if you check on the back they'll say vegan or not vegan. So yeah, I would rec recommend if you want something really mainstream just check out Superdrug because you can't really go wrong. But yes, deep breath, all done, finally. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, maybe give it a thumbs up if you fancy. Yeah, have a great Christmas if you, if you celebrate it, if you're just having a chill time at home, kicking back, enjoying the bank holiday, then I hope you have a good bank holiday regardless and hopefully I'll catch you in my next video. Bye guys.